when I was in middle school, I was battling with two things. I was battling with the need and the want to fit in. I, I wanted to find my identity. I wanted to find out who I was since I was so confused about a lot of things. I was also battling with the fact that I didn't want to become that person that I had to become in order to fit in because it was, I knew deep inside that it wasn't me. It wasn't what I, who I wanted to be. And I found myself skipping school and getting myself into very dangerous situations. And I remember feeling guilty and feeling wrong. And I knew that that wasn't me. So I stopped skipping um, and I remember that I was dealing with so much pain and sadness and depression that I learned how to keep on a mask. I learned how to just keep those feelings within me so that they were not being dealt with. I was just digging a deeper hole for myself, but then again, who could I go to at the time? You know, my friends needed help. I needed help. There was no one to be found and I did not feel comfortable enough to come to my mom or anyone in my family to let them know what was going on inside of me or what had been going, what went on. When I, when my sister Vanessa, she was able to put me into Coral Gable Senior High School, that's when a lot of things changed for me. My mom and my sister Vanessa play a huge role in um, building up my self-esteem. They always empowered me. My sister always empowered me. My mom always told me that I was beautiful, that I was capable of anything. And those things are so important because although I believed it, I believed half of it, I still felt that my capacities weren't that great. I felt shame. I still felt a lot of guilt. I felt like I, I wasn't enough. And, and, and my abilities weren't enough to amount to becoming the person that I knew deep inside I wanted to be. During high school, I joined something called Color Guard. I, I actually also did uh, modeling and all of those things um, helped me out a lot. And my sister and my mom supported me the whole way through, both emotionally and in so many other ways. And I'm very grateful for them because they really helped me. Uh, that was, Color Guard was the way that I coped with my feelings. It was, a, it was an outlet. It was a way, you know, the movement, the dance was a way for me to express the anger that I felt inside and the sadness. And it filled, it filled me up. You know, those moments of like the performances, the, it filled me up when I was in rehearsal. But then what happened after that? I didn't have anything. I felt empty again. So I began to try to fill that void with drinking and smoking and hanging out with my friends. At 16, I had a guidance counselor at school and she was a blessing, a major blessing. And she helped me overcome my guilt and she helped me heal. But two things happened with my guidance counselor. One of the things that happened was that she helped me understand what had happened. She helped me write to my old self, that little girl that was broken. And I actually did an exercise where I had to write to that self. And that was very healing because I was able to tell the little girl that it was okay, it wasn't her fault. And I, that's when I, I, I experienced my first breakthrough where I felt like it wasn't my fault, I'm not guilty. I'm not, I'm not, I shouldn't feel this guilt. And I was freed from that. But something that was so powerful was that my guidance counselor took me to church on Easter. That day they asked, the, the pastor at, at that moment, he, uh, he and she, they asked, for us to write on a piece of paper the people that had hurt us in the past. So I did that. And I had to nail it to the cross. I had to go up to the altar and nail it on the cross. And that to me was the minute that I hit, that I remember the hammer hit that nail, I was free. I knew I was free. 
from holding on to this grudge, from holding on to this lack of forgiveness. And I experienced and I had an encounter with God at that moment. And I knew that he was real because I felt free. Free from uh, not hating the people that, that hurt me when I was a child. And, um, and I knew from that day on that I wanted to walk with God. I just didn't know how.